What I love to see was God's boundless love, no matter where you are in the world. I really appreciated this trip to go to Guatemala again and visit. I think it is important that we, you know, some of us can see the things that are being done there. And I just want to impress about, if you can't go on the trip yourself, that uh, donations, your money, your uh, offerings to the, the funds, is being well used. There is uh, a new feeding center at Rama Blanca and El Dorado. They've got a trade school going in and a new school. And at the complex here, they have a new um, a housing unit so they can have more people come in. It's just that your funds are well used here uh, in, in assisting the missionaries that do come so just remember that every penny you put in is being used wisely and well here the most impactful thing to me was that uh, uh, when we did the home visits uh, we got to see all the poor people and uh, how they how they still love god as much as they did and when we were doing those home visits we also got to do got to really see how how to help people who are in need in, a, in, in this community. And um, that basically translates to us learning how to be able to help our own community uh, in a similar way by praying for them and helping them out financially and uh, giving our own community food and the need, help it needs. When I first started on this trip, I thought Guatemala would have all these, you know, it's a Catholic country and that everybody would be kind of stuck in their ways about what they believed. But I found out that there's a lot of people that really need to hear the gospel and want it, are real receptive towards it. On one of our home visits we took, um, we had this eight-year-old girl, and she was reading her Bible she just got from the feeding center about an hour before that. And so, and also, um, what I guess you can see what I really like the most is on another home visit we uh, um, got to witness somebody being saved, one of the mothers getting saved by the pastor of that um, feeding center, two, uh, two feeding centers they have there. Okay, what can I say to make you want to go on a mission trip? There are so many things. Um, I had the opportunity to do something that no one else on the trip got to do. I got to do a home visit with Anita who is a nurse that started a medical center here in Guatemala. And the elderly lady that we went to visit um, is dying. And it's actually amazing that she's still alive, but she's a Christian and she loves God. And her favorite part of when Anita comes to visit her is when Anita reads her the Bible and she just absorbs every single word. And when they pray, they pray with so much passion and so fervently, and it's just amazing. Um, they have so very little when it comes to material possessions, but what they do have is they have Jesus, and that makes the whole world a difference. Um, this trip was a very humbling experience, but also very rewarding. Um, it, we were able to serve people the way that Jesus did, and it just has renewed my passion for him. 
Anna on the mission trip um, touched my heart. Uh, I have been blessed with so many things in my life, and those people just touched my heart just to see that the things they don't have and the things that people could help them with. I've always wanted to go on one of these mission trips, and God has made this possible for me. I'm very blessed with that also.